In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to do my move globe trotter. So before teaching the actual move, I'll first teach you guys how to do this one hand cut here. Because once you know how to do this, the move becomes really easy. So to begin, you're going to start off in straddle grip. Then you're going to place your thumb on the short edge on the bottom here. You're going to break off a packet like so. Okay. So it's kind of like a scissor cut, except this packet here is actually on the bottom. Then you want to let go of your index here so that this packet is actually resting on this one here and your middle ring and pinky. Then you want to push this packet upwards with your ring and middle, like so, until you're able to grab the top short edge here with your thumb. All right, so now you're clipping this packet between your thumb and pinky. Then you want to curl your ring finger under this packet and have your middle finger on top, right? So here you have your ring finger curled down there. And with this grip, you should be able to riffle off some cards with your thumb, right? And you're going to do this riffle by applying pressure with your ring finger. So if you apply upward pressure, you should be able to riffle cards off with your thumb. So once you riffled off a little packet here, you can then bring your middle finger back downwards and let this packet rest on top of your middle finger. So it'll naturally slide downwards like so. Then you just have to clip this packet between your index and pinky and you have this triangle looking shape here. Right? And to close, all you have to do is push this packet back up with your middle square up these two packets then you should be able to clip this packet with your middle ring and pinky and you can let go of your thumb this way so you can extend this packet slightly like so then all you gotta do is extend your thumb outwards and bring this packet on top of this one here like so all right and that's the move so to do the move globe trotter what you're going to do is you're going to start doing that one hand cut I just taught you. Once you get to this position here, you want to have your right thumb and middle come over and grab the bottom of this packet here around this position, in the front and the back. And you're going to slide one card from the front and one card from the back of this packet. Then you're going to pinch them together, right? And pull it up. Pull these two cards up until you get this display here, this three packet display. All right? Then you're going to continue doing the one hand cut with the left hand. And before you're about to do the split, you're going to prepare to also split these two cards up here. You want, the, you want to do this simultaneously, all right? So to do that, complete the cut on the left hand. And on the right hand, all you got to do is pull upwards with your index and middle. Pull the card in front upwards slightly and slide it downwards until it contacts your pinky, right? So I'm gonna do these two motions at the same time and you'll get this five packet display here. Then you'll be keeping your left hand, this triangle in place as you slide these two cards on the right hand around, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull up the top card by curling your in index and middle of your right hand and you're going to slide this card up until it can contact your left index here. Then you want to pull your right thumb upwards and slide this card up until it contacts your pinky over here. Right? Then you want to reverse these steps. Until you're back where you started. And to close, 
on the left hand, what, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this packet upwards with your middle finger, like so, all right? And with your right hand, all you're gonna do, with your right hand, all you're gonna do is come over and square these two cards together using your palm, okay? So together, that'll look like this, right? Once you're here, you can grab onto these two cards in this grip, okay? At the same time, on the left hand to close, you want to clip this packet between your middle ring and pinky, so you can pull this packet outwards, and you're simply going to place this packet on top of this one, and at the same time, your right hand is in this position, right? You want to then turn this card like so, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to close the left hand and place these cards on top like so. So to do this little, uh, this little spin here, all you have to do is grab the cards in the position, this position, and you're going to be grabbing them essentially with your thumb and index and you're gonna place your middle slightly below your index. What you're, all you're gonna do is extend your thumb and index fingers and the cards should roll over your middle finger, right? And you're gonna do this palm down, so it looks like this, right? So you're just gonna do this spin until the cards line up with the packet on the bottom and you're gonna let go, right? So here's the move again, briefly. Do the one hand cut until you're in this position. Split two cards. Complete the display. Move the top card until it contacts your index. Then move the other card until it contacts your pinky. Then reverse these steps. Close, have your middle here. Square up. You're gonna pull this packet outwards. And place this packet on top here. At the same time, you want to turn these cards and place them on top of the deck. And that completes the move. So personally for me, the hardest part about this move is keeping this bottom packet clean as you pull two cards up, right? Because usually what happens is as you pull the, some cards up, you will naturally slide off one or two cards off the top here as well. So to make sure that doesn't happen, we have a tip here. And that is that while you're pinching this packet here, you wanna pinch very, very tightly, almost like you're angeling the two cards so the cards on the top and the bottom are slightly stuck to your thumb and middle finger here. And once they, it feels like they are a bit stuck to your fingers, you can lightly pull up the cards and these two cards should be the only two to slide up, right? Because if you don't do that and you just randomly grab, you will be pulling off uh, more cards from the top here, right? And so that's my tip for doing the move.